From KQED Public Radio in San Francisco, I'm Michael Krasny. Coming up on Forum this morning in our opening hour, State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tom Torlakson, will join us to talk about the new roadmap for educating California's kids. The four-year plan is an updated version of his 2011 blueprint. Now we want to turn our attention to California schools as scheduled this morning as the start of the new school year nears. The state superintendent of public instruction, Tom Torlakson, joins us to discuss his new roadmap for educating California's kids. It's a four-year plan. It was developed by a task force of educators, which updates the 2011 blueprint for great schools. And the plan calls for better teacher recruitment and training, a new accountability system, and continued implementing of Common Core standards. Superintendent Torlakson joins us for this morning's opening hour. Tom Torlakson, good to have you with us. Good morning, Michael. Good morning to you. And let's begin by, well, there's lots to talk about in this plan. Um, But you've been talking about it rhetorically as being like a rocket ship, which will lead California way ahead of where it presently is. And what what about this plan particularly uh, is going to move us forward in your judgment and move us forward at the kind of rocket ship rate you've been talking about? Well, we have an action plan here. We have a work product of uh, some of the brightest minds in California that are dedicated to improving public education, uh, that are exciting students. One of those big areas is career technical education. Uh, we've invested a billion and a half over the last three years. My department's already given out a half billion in grants where we have coalitions of businesses, high schools, community colleges, universities, looking at the regional economy and seeing how we can have our students prepare for careers and to be ready for college and have the critical thinking skills necessary. So the new standards, again, are part of this whole effort and targeting the money, spending it more wisely, like on career tech. Here's a question from Ann. What about focus on more experiential learning in the classroom? We need people with skills and trades that I fear are becoming lost. We need to engage our kids more with hands-on learning activities to get them motivated. Tom Tarlinson. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. And we are doing this. We are making a major shift back to what we used to call vocational education, but now it's it's modern. It's, it's the 21st century skills needed, and it is hands-on, and it's connected to the real world. Uh, I mentioned earlier uh, we've got business partners that are part of these coalitions around the state that are creating career pathways, and we find that students, when they determine their future. They decide, I want to be a biochemist or I want to work in computer sciences. They are motivated. They're not dropping out of school. They're doing their homework. They're attending class, and they're going to be graduating at 95% rates. And so, yes, we will see more students going into career pathways. One idea, just uh, we develop standards for an apprenticeship program. If you want to go into the building trades, be a carpenter or a plumber, electrician, um, you can take a series of courses in high school that get you one year towards your apprenticeship programs. You graduate from high school and you're ready to go into an apprenticeship program. There are many, many career pathways that um, are very fulfilling, very much needed for the health of our economy and pay well and have a good support system uh, that don't involve going to college. We do want to increase the number of our students going to college because many of the career pathways, many of the needs of the economy require the advanced skills that you get at college. But yes, more hands-on learning, more relevancy. Uh, You're totally correct. Experiential learning, it motivates students, it gets them excited, and they stay in school, and they're going to be contributing citizens when they graduate.